In this video, I'm gonna reveal six reasons why next year holds unlimited opportunity for screenwriters. Now, I happen to be recording this video in the middle of a pandemic, so the coming year holds even more opportunity than normal. But even if you're watching this video five or 10 years from now, the year ahead will hold unlimited opportunity for screenwriters. I'm gonna show you why, and we're gonna start right now. Let's do this. Hello, my creative friends. If you're ready to stop writing for your bookshelf and start writing for production, hit the subscribe button, tap that bell, and make sure you don't miss a thing because you never know which one of these videos holds that one key you need to break through. Now, look, one of the biggest misconceptions about screenwriting is that it's impossible to break in. There are too many people vying for too few opportunities. All the stories have been told already. The doors are perpetually closed to you. And all sorts of other nonsense. Sense. The simple fact is that we don't live in the outmoded paradigm that so much of the screenwriting world seems to still be living in. Even today, people still seem to think of Hollywood and how to break into Hollywood as if the old studio system was still in play. Under the old studio system, there were a handful of studios that would pretty much make all the content because they had all the distribution deals with all the theater chains. If you weren't part of that system, it was almost impossible to get your work noticed. But all of that has completely completely changed. We live in a completely different era today. It truly does not matter anymore where in the world you live, or what age you are, or your gender, or your ethnicity, or what kind of movies you want to make. As long as you can deliver the goods, there is unlimited opportunity available to us in an ever-expanding array of places, which means that if you really want to do this, the year ahead holds more opportunity than at any time in history. Now, if you're watching this video a few years after I made it, you might be thinking, well, how could he possibly possibly say this. He doesn't know what's going on at this point. But the dynamics at play mean that each year that opportunity is going to grow. To make it a little bit clearer, let's just dive into reason number one. There is a growing and insatiable need for content. Human beings understand their world through story. It's by putting ourselves into an imaginary situation, such as the retelling of a story by another person, that we can fully dissect and understand and realize the meaning of what's happening in our world. So every year, as new events unfold and we need new ideas and perspectives and understanding to make sense of it and help us forge a path forward, new stories that new generations of people can relate to will be needed. Now, add to that the major shift that's been happening over the past few years, where we're starting to see new streaming companies come on board, new television networks, alternative distribution like video on demand or subscription video on demand. These giant companies and smaller players will need a never-ending stream of new content. At the beginning, a lot of these companies like Netflix, Netflix or Amazon or Hulu used older content, the back catalog, stuff that had been shown previously elsewhere. But increasingly, to stay competitive and to grab and retain the viewer, they have to create new content. Well, the interests and the tastes and the creative sensibilities, the things audiences want are forever changing, forever shifting, which opens up a continuous stream of opportunity for screenwriters. Now, I wanted to jump in with a couple of quick little mini bonus reasons why 2021 specifically is going to hold so much more opportunity than usual. And the first reason is that the pandemic tore a hole in the back catalog. When governments around the world first introduced a lockdown during the coronavirus, a lot of people simply had time to sit at home and do nothing but consume entertainment. They watched all that content they hadn't had a chance to see when life was too busy and got to the point where they were looking for something new. Now add to that the fact that the pandemic shut down production in Hollywood and other film centers around the world. So that machinery that keeps pumping out new content ground to a halt, which means that as people are consuming all that content, we get to a point where there is not enough content to fill that growing need. So 2021, 2022, 2023 will likely hold an outsized 
amount of opportunity for screenwriters because the industry is desperate to get back into production. Those distribution outlets have this giant hole in their catalog. And we have proven time and again that audiences have this insatiable need for new material. Now, the second mini bonus reason is that everything has changed. And that means that screenplays need to change too. One of the things that became very apparent during the pandemic as you would watch older films and TV shows is you couldn't help but notice they're not socially distanced. Nobody's wearing masks here. Oh, that kind of a situation wouldn't happen today. You'd be looking at a crowded restaurant scene or a packed sports stadium. And even though you knew you are watching a movie from before these things were even a thought in anyone's mind, it still changed the viewing experience. Moving forward, the stories will have to reflect a pandemic or post-pandemic world. Even if your story isn't specifically about that, that is part of our reality moving forward. And for your story to resonate with future audiences, it has to take the new realities into consideration. Now, there's gonna be a lot of work for a lot of writers having to update and change and maybe revisit and reapproach their past stories. But out in the industry, this opens up even more opportunity. If you've got a project that demonstrates you've really got a handle on this or a unique perspective on this, there may be opportunity to get hired to rewrite or update an existing project. And to be clear, it's not just the pandemic. There will be new realities in the years ahead. And this is precisely why every year will hold even more opportunity for a storyteller and a screenwriter. And in fact, this leads us perfectly right into reason number two, which is that more films are made every single year. Now, the coronavirus pandemic has actually made 2020 a bit of an outlier because for every year, for the past couple of decades, there have been more films made every year than the year before. In fact, over the past several years, there have been over 4,000 feature films submitted to the Sundance Film Festival each and every year, and that number continues to grow. The simple fact is that the cost of technology is dropping, enabling filmmakers to make better quality films with less money from pretty much anywhere on the globe. And that means that pretty much anyone who wants to make a film can make a film. We're even seeing whole new opportunities where companies are making their own entertainment and not even commercials or branded entertainment, just entertainment that's sponsored by the company as a new or alternative way to get their company name out there. Well, all those films, all that entertainment has to come from somewhere. It all starts as an idea in someone's head. The misconception is that people still think you need to write that spec screenplay and go try to knock on doors in Hollywood. But there are increasingly opportunities right in your very own neighborhood. And the best part of that reality comes in the form of reason number three. Independent and low budget productions can make anything. When professional caliber content can be shot on a smartphone or when low or no budget productions can get worldwide distribution, it means that there are truly no barriers to entry. Now that has a positive side and a negative side. On the positive side, it enables us to have an unlimited array of diversity. We can get more creative or more experimental in our storytelling. Not everything has to hit that same cliche Hollywood formula. What you're passionate about, the community you belong to, the stories that you want to see that you've never seen before. We can make those movies today. And with the dramatic expansion of distribution, we can get those movies and those TV shows and those stories out to a much wider audience than ever before. Now, the downside, the negative side of it, is that more material is going to get made. So there's more competition for the audience's eyeballs. With 4,000 submissions to Sundance each year, it stands to reason that the vast majority of those are not going to find their audience. But there are two important points to consider when it comes to that. Number one, that just means that your work has to be a cut above. The stories you design and the screenplays you create have to be able to stand out in that crowded environment. You basically just have to be better at the craft. But the second thing to consider is what I'm calling reason number four. And that is that even if the film goes nowhere, it's still an opportunity for a screenwriter. 
When the pandemic first shut down all the productions in Hollywood, one of the most remarkable things I began to notice as I was reading the Hollywood trade papers is that deals were still being made with writers. Screenplays were selling. Agencies were signing deals with studios for television shows. Actors were signing onto projects, all to be made as soon as the pandemic was over. In other words, even when production halts, we're still thinking about getting back into production. We focus on the writing the ideas, the stories. And here's the kicker, even if a movie doesn't end up getting made, the screenwriter still made a deal out of it. Even if a low budget movie doesn't get into Sundance or doesn't find its audience, the screenwriter still made their deal, still got to see their screenplay turned into a film. Generally speaking, as a rule of thumb, production companies tend to develop at least 10 times as many projects as they ever take into production. There's an array of reasons why a project that's been developed might not be able to go all the way to production, but the project is still developed. The producer is still working with a screenwriter. The opportunity still exists, which as more movies are made each year means more and more and more opportunity for writers. Whenever I say this to writers, particularly intermediate or advanced level writers who have maybe been struggling at this for years, they don't often believe that this is true, but that's because you're seeing it from the writer's point of view. When you look at it from the producer's perspective, we come to reason number five, and that is that too few projects are viable. Most people who teach screenwriting are teaching from an academic point of view. They've analyzed films, they've broken them down, and they've figured out the elements of if you put this here and you put that there, you've got a great story. But that's not what a producer or a production company is looking for. We need a story and a screenplay that we can see is a viable project. In other words, when I read it, I can see how I'm going to go about getting the elements together, attracting a name actor, attracting a talented director, coming up with a concise vision for how to make this movie. I can see how I'm going to convince investors to invest in this project. We can see a clear market for this project. We can read the film, have a sense of what kind of audience there is for this film, understand the budget we'd have to make it for, and then know that we could make it within that budget. If you write a screenplay that is for a very niche and specialized audience, but that movie could only be made on an enormous budget. Well, no matter how good the writing is or the story is, the project itself is not viable because we'll never be able to convince an investor to pour that kind of money into something that has no possible hope of generating that kind of revenue back. The screenplay has to be the best expression of the idea, and the film we imagine from the screenplay needs to be a viable business project. And because most writers just don't think about the producer's needs or the viability of the project, all that supposed competition is really just noise. And that leads me directly into reason number six, which is that nobody's doing it because nobody believes it. If you ask anyone you know how many people they know who are writing screenplays, it's going to be a tiny little number. Almost no one is doing this because they don't believe it's possible to actually write screenplays, sell them, and see them turned into movies. I wish there was something that I could say that would help you understand just how big the opportunity is. Because we're not in a closed system anymore. Anyone can go out and make a film. Anyone can get that film in front of their audience. The skills that are needed to make and market a movie these days are simply marketing skills, are simply production skills. But we can't just go out and shoot whatever we feel like shooting that day and hope that we end up with a marketable product at the end. We need projects that people have poured their thought and their time and their energy into meticulously refining into an engaging, enthralling, powerful, compelling story. But who's doing it? The number of subscribers on this channel, the number of views on this video are proof positive that no one's paying attention because everyone has bought into the myth that it's about selling to Hollywood. If you focus on taking advantage of the world as it is now, you are going to be doing the work almost no one else is doing. When literally thousands of producers 
all around the world at all different budget levels are looking for and can't find material, you're going to be there with the project that's actually ready, that's something they can use because it's viable, that's been refined, that's been polished, there will be no competition whatsoever, and you're gonna wonder why no one else is taking this advice. And that leads us into today's bonus reason, which is that one of the biggest reasons why next year holds unlimited opportunity for screenwriters is simply because between now and then, most screenwriters will go in the wrong direction. Look, most would-be screenwriters are not going to take this moment seriously. They're gonna focus all their attention reinforcing all the preconceived ideas they already have, or they'll focus all their energies on learning skills that are out of date, or they'll aim for a level they haven't earned yet, or they'll just freestyle it, hoping and praying that they fluke onto some sort of success. If you've never sold a screenplay before, don't try to write for Hollywood. Don't try to write some $200 million blockbuster. Start with low budget independent film. There is much more opportunity and you can practice and develop your craft and get good at it before you try to compete at that multi-million dollar level. The way to take advantage of all this extraordinary opportunity is to be ready for it when that moment arrives. What you need to do is take simple, decisive action that improves your skills day after day after day. If you develop these skills over the next year, you'll be ready to take advantage of all this opportunity. If it takes you an extra year, there's still going to be more opportunity at that point and you'll be ready to take advantage of it. Most would-be writers are gonna make the biggest mistake of their lives. They're not going to focus on learning the craft the way you need to learn it today. Now, this topic is so important that I'd really like to dig into it in the next video in this series. We're gonna look at six ways to learn screenwriting, and I'm gonna give you the pros and cons of each of them. Some of the ways cost money, some ways are completely free, and we're gonna cover it all in the next video. So click here, and we'll see you there.